I have prepared our Easter meal, y'all. And um, just to make sure people are not starving before I serve it, I'm going to make a little easy, easy to do appetizer. And I'm going to use two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. One cup, excuse me, one cup of mayonnaise. And I'm going to use the electric uh, hand mixer because I don't want clumps of, you know, cream cheese. So just going to mix it up real quick. Like. I've got our cream cheese and our mayonnaise mixed together. Now I'm going to add uh, one package of dry Italian dressing. So in that goes. Y'all may have had um, a cheese ball very similar to this. Gosh, I hadn't made that one in years. It's been so long since I've made that. But you make it with cream cheese, naturally, and regular cheese, and then the dried beef. So I'm going to chop this and add it to our cream cheese and mayonnaise mixture. I don't want it in two small pieces because I want you to be able to tell what you're putting in your mouth. This is such a good combination. Uh, when you go to put that Italian dressing in, don't stand, stand right back. over it because it went up my nose <laughs> and it doesn't feel good. All right, so I'm going to add some fresh parsley. Vegetables, vegetables. <laughs> so we're going to do just a rough chop. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of the fresh parsley, and then I'm gonna mix these all together. Gosh, it looks just like that cheese ball if it had some regular cheese in it. <clears throat> now, basically, you can put what you want to in this. Um, I like to add spring onions or green onions uh, because it just adds some color to it. But this is really, really tasty for what it is. All right. I am, I have cut my French bread, not all the way through, but enough that I could get in here and hollow out my bread a little bit. I'll pull this out and I'll go give it to the chickens in a little while. You want to have room to be able to put that filling in. So I don't want to take out too much of the bread. I want, I want people to feel like they're eating a little mini sandwich. Okay. All right. This is actually enough cream cheese to fill three of these loaves, but I think I'm just gonna do the one, the one loaf and then see how it goes. But uh, we're gonna- well, I couldn't rip. find small, I couldn't find small ones. So this is the only, yeah. this is all I could find. Yeah, <laughs> they've been picked over. It's a holiday coming up, so. Yeah, I mean, we may have enough to do two this size, Eddie, but I don't think we have enough to do three of these. 
and I'm going to pile it on pretty good because, you know, we've got to, got to be able to fill that other hollow part. So, this is kind of the way I filled it. I'll turn it around so y'all can see it. So we're going to wrap this in a plastic wrap. There you go. <laughs> And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And then I'm going to uh, take it out when I'm ready to serve, right before I'm ready to serve. And I'll cut it into like one inch pieces. It's really, really good, y'all. As simple as it is, it's really tasty and no cook. No cook, which is great. Okay. Y'all, it's almost time to serve. Let me just figure out how I got this thing wrapped up. And I'm not going to wrap, unwrap it all the way because I'm probably not going to slice all of this at one time. I'll come back and kind of slice it as we need it. But see that little end piece? That's not even worth putting out because there's not enough, not enough center. There we go. Almost looks like it could, serve, could stand some more stuffing, doesn't it? So it's just a tasty little snack, y'all, for everybody to munch on while Grandmama is getting the rest pulled together. Looks delicious, doesn't it, Eddie? It does. Would you help me eat some? <laughs> mm. Oh, and listen. I meant to tell y'all, and I, I forgot. You noticed I didn't put any salt in this at all because uh, uh, the meat is so salty and the pimento that we put in it. Just those two things contain a lot of salt. So you, you certainly don't want to salt it, but you could pepper it, and that would add a flavor to it. And don't forget to serve this with napkins. <laughs> like cocktail napkins. <laughs> so, I think everybody will love it. It's simple. You can do it the day before. Um, so, I hope y'all have a wonderful Easter, wonderful holiday. And I've just got one word for y'all. Here comes Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Well, that's actually more than one word, isn't it? <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Loving best dishes, y'all.